was travelling through Heathrow and various other airports with a three-foot rubber penis. Kill me. Put it in here. In here. And hard. Jab it in. Jab it in. I'll cut that. Cut it. You have ruined my day. I've had a nice one, and now I'm just depressed. Je parle avec un accent terrible Yorkshire. Keep rolling. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. Um, I'm on It's Gone Viral, and we're doing Who's Most Likely? Well, because he's a man. Choose my language carefully. He's a bit of a prima donna. He once complained that the Range Rover that came to pick us up from the airport was the wrong colour. I'm not going to say any more than that. I think it was grey and he wanted a blue one. Are you surprised by that answer? Because of the moaning. Honestly, we, we did a, a film when he and I were travelling through an airport and we were complaining about... Sorry, no, he was complaining <laughs> about how far it is to walk to check in or from check-in to the plane. And he did this immensely long rant, and everyone thought, that was really clever, you wrote and did... No, that's what he does! It's intensely irritating, so that, there's only one answer to that. James said he once complained about the colour of a car when you, you were getting picked up. James, uh, Jeremy did? Yeah. Um, hello. James May is the man that once said, when we were travelling doing our live shows, we were going to go to the next location, and he said, will the wine be chilled on the helicopter? Now, that's a number of assumptions. Firstly, that there's a helicopter. Secondly, that there'll be wine on it. Lastly, that it can be chilled. Yeah. I'll tell you a lot about that, man. How can we put this delicately? May often needs to go to the lavatory for his number twos, but only and you, as you just arrive at an airport, the car's there, oh, wait a minute, I need to go to the lavatory. Or just before you're leaving to go and catch a plane. So Richard and I have worked out that when we get to the pearly gates when we're dead. We're going to ask Peter for our James May poo time back. And we reckon we can get another three or four weeks of life for the amount of time we've wasted waiting around for him. Because he always takes a crossword with him. Oh, well, you see, there we are. The most interesting doing the crossword here as I do my number twos. With no concept, he's holding 70 people up. So. Only because... Am I allowed to say this? He did once, we, we once travelled to, which country did we go to? Namibia. And he produced a giant rubber dildo to put on my car, which is something he sort of quite likes to do. But that must have mean it was, it was in his luggage. So he was travelling through Heathrow and various other airports with a three foot rubber penis in his bag. He must have been. But it certainly didn't come out of my bag. He, he, he did do that, yes, yes. None of us. No, no, none of us get seasick. I, I, I can't, I, I don't think we do. He was sort of sick on me once in a boat, in a small boat trip, so, yeah. He's not good at that sort of thing. No, I don't think we would get seasick. Hammond was once on television being sick, but I happened to know while he was in a boat. Being in a boat had nothing to do with while he was, why he was being sick, and the enormous amount of wine he'd drunk the night before did. We are hardened travellers. Now, I don't think there is necessarily a worse thing that you can suffer from. I mean, obviously, for the first 20 minutes, you genuinely are worried you're going to die. And then for the next 20 minutes, you're genuinely worried that you might not. Yeah, I mean, you just sit there going, kill me. Let, go into the kitchen drawer in the boat, get a knife and put it in here, in here, and hard, jab it in, jab it in, I'll cut that, cut it. It's a dreadful, debilitating disease. I'm going to go for worst. Hammond and I have both got pilot's licences, so we're qualified navigators. That's the truth of it. Yeah, best is me, because I've got sat-nav on my phone and I keep my data roaming on, unlike the other two mean heads. And James, hotel once in Sao Paulo, in Brazil. We checked in late. We'd come in from Iquico in Chile very late, I don't know, two, and we had to get up quite early, about six or something, so we had three or four hours. Go into the room, put our heads down for the flight home. I went off to my room and I got up in the morning and James May was still walking the corridors with his suitcase looking for his room. Never got a minute's sleep. He can't, and that's another thing in the morning when we're traveling, you can be a good 40 minutes 
knowing he's somewhere in the hotel who is opening fire escapes no wait this isn't it and he says that when he thinks of britain and he's trying to navigate his way from say london to nottingham he has to turn britain upside down in his head to work out which way to go so you know funnily enough he actually voted for you he said what he said you were the worst with sense of direction Yes, but you see, there's the other thing. He is a natural-born liar. No, I think he's famous. He's famous on television for his very poor sense of direction. But you, I bet you didn't say he was the worst at anything, did he? No. <laughs> right. This is a complicated answer. Worrying suspicion it might be Jeremy, but I'm certainly not going to say that. The worst is Mr. James May. I and mean, he deny it, but he gets lost in hotels, and he does. He gets lost in his own room. Um, and the best, I put me. Only because that's the only nice thing that you've had so far that we could attribute to one of us. So I'll attribute it to me. I fart quite a lot. And we go JC. I did share a tent with him in the North Pole many years ago in the Top Gear era, and he, he accuses me of snoring and all sorts of things, but actually Jeremy Clarkson sort of talks in his sleep. He, get, he gets into his sleeping bag and he puts it over his head and then he does this sort of Tourette swearing and muttering thing, so it's like being in a tent with a blasphemous maggot. It's really unpleasant. Is it in a cell? Yes. Who else? Is it just two of us, or is it like lots of other people? Just you two. It can be a bunk bed, it can be a single, it can be a double bed. Uh, do they do double okay, beds in prison? Clear, I'm standing up all night. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Um, now, I don't want to hurt him with this. I don't care. It's Jeremy. Simply because I'd rather with James because James likes what he calls itchy prison blankets. That's weird. But he likes a single bed and an itchy prison blanket. In fact, one time in Bolivia, the accommodation that night, we had to doss up down in some little shepherd's hut in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and we were sharing. We opened the door and it was bliss because it was two little single beds. I love a single bed as well. But he likes a really itchy blanket, which means he'd be very happy, which means he'd shut up. Whereas Jeremy wouldn't shut up. And then I'd have gone to prison for whatever I've gone to prison for, traffic offence, but then I'd have to stay in prison because I would have committed murder. I can't really do accents. Hammond can do a few. He can do a good Brummie because he is a Brummie. Uh, he does a good... He does a good Irish accent. Jeremy can do sort of French accents quite well. I don't really, apart from a bit of West Country, I can't really do. I can't really do accents. I do an excellent Brummie accent. Well, yeah, Brummie. I mean, it's not really difficult, is it? It's just speaking. Ta-da! His French is shocking. Really, really bad. I mean, Jeremy's is pretty poor. Mine, not surprisingly, I'm from Birmingham, isn't good. Yeah, it'd be James who does the worst French accent. Oh, Pascal. Comme je parle français, je ne sais quoi, mais uh, je parle avec un accent terrible Yorkshire. Uh, ça fait difficile pour moi de comprendre, mais uh, c'est. Uh, that's what happens. I always. I, I don't know why, but I always think French should have a Yorkshire accent. And I give it one. Well, so when my girlfriend rings to order a curry, she always does it in an Indian accent, which I think is racist, but she says, no, it just makes it easier for me to be understood. I'm like, oh, yeah. So she's Irish, but with an in... That is a mad accent. But Hammond's, not, Hammond's pretty good at French. James is entirely incapable of speaking any foreign... Not even yes and no. You know, no to get to his age, and I think he can say Davasa Falls is kaput, in, which means the waterfall is, is broken in Germany, but it's never been useful for him. I mean, I have the worst attire anyway. It doesn't make any difference whether we're travelling or, or sitting in a pub. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> the grey-haired old lady. He's got these Jesus sandals. And he wears them on aeroplanes in public where people can see him. And he teams them with socks. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. I, it's just... Shocking. A, a, a battered old T-shirt with a picture of a Spitfire on it stretched over him. It's just, oh, come on, mate. Make some sort of effort. People are looking at you. None of us have special travelling clothes. We don't have um, 
you know, a trouser suit for the airport or anything like that. Right. We just wear our clothes. And they are all our own clothes. We've never had wardrobe or anything like that. Having said that, I stole this jacket. <laughs> <laughs>